and welcome. Today is the last part of the Akai GX260D reel-to-reel you know, repairing. And the reason why I am talking so softly and moving around so much is because I am babysitting my nephew over here, as you can see. <laughs> as I must get this video completed and done today, I have no choice but to kind of do it while I'm, you know, babysitting and holding this one because there's no one around to hold. <laughs> so. I will leave you to the video for now. Okay, so today we are back on the table and um, that's because I'm going to do some soldering and it's going to be the last amount of soldering. So let's kind of like get this thing, let's, let's get this thing on its uh, side again. Okay, I need to get in here again because I need to access the underside, the circuit boards, because what I'm going to be doing is replacing the transistors. Uh, the transistors have arrived. Where are they? Okay, so let's kind of get this thing off. Everything inside here looks familiar to me now. I'm no longer scared of this like I once was. So basically, what I've done here is I've taken two pages out of the service manual. The playback board and the record board. I need to be clear about this, you know, as I have a reference here on uh, the substitute, which substitute to put where. And uh, so I've labeled these out and I've made it clear. So I need to make sure I don't keep having to check it. Okay, so now it's time to plug the soldering iron in. Okay, so let's do the record board first. As you can see there, it's, uh, I've got the transistors labeled. I also have a component tester here, which is uh, powered by a 9 volt battery. And what this does is um, it will test, you know, uh, the transistor, tell me exactly what it is, and, you know, the pinout of it. So I just want to make sure the pinout is correct before I replace it. Okay, so let's start on the record board. Transistors 1 and 2 are there, and of course, mirror imaged are 1 and 2. So those are the 2SC2240. And those are the Toshiba ones, which I got. As you can see, I have many here, and I got them locally here, so I didn't have to wait so long, you know, from them to, for them to come from China or Hong Kong or something. So there we go. That's one transistor out, the uh, 2SC1312, which I will replace with a. Two two four zero. Because okay, so first of all, what I want to do is put this into the tester here, flat side down, and we turn this on. Pin one is the base. Pin two is the collector. Pin pin three is the emitter. Now let's write that down because I think the new ones are different. Okay, so the new one, pin one is emitter. Pin two is collector. Pin three is base. You know the uh, the new transistors are in reverse. So the first, the original ones B C E, and C sorry E B C E, E C B. So all I need to do is just flip them. So this one. You knew the substitutes are much smaller transistors, but that's okay. okay. Just hold that transistor in there. Okay, so that's first, the first transistor done. Now for the second one. What I must remember to do with this is um, make sure to do the isopropyl alcohol brushing to get the flux off, the excess flux, just in case. I don't think it's a good idea keeping the flux on the board anyway. Right, so I have uh, taken out and replaced transistors 1 to 4, on both sides that is, and uh, I just need to do 5 on both sides and transistors 6, 7 and 8 
it's only on one side. These are the ones that I've been taken out and uh, I replaced as you can see. Okay, so time to check uh, the transistor pin out. Let's just hope it's not uh, you know, different or anything. Pin 1 base, pin 2 collector, pin 3 emitter. So. Okay, pin 3 base, pin 2 uh, collector and pin 1 emitter. Okay, so basically it's the same deal, just uh, switching the, the, flipping the transistors over. So it should be fine. <laughs> well, at least it's that and not, you know, crossing the legs or something, which I think tends to be, uh, if I were to get a BC transistor, I'd have to kind of, you know, cross through the legs or something, which I don't want to do. While I'm here, I might as well give the switches another Oh, this is so awkward. For now, I'm just gonna put two screws in it because I'm gonna test it. If anything. Okay, I have uh, replaced all the transistors and now is the time to switch it on. I'm going to do it through the lamp limiter. I don't know why. <laughs> no, I do know why. Because I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I mean, as far as I know, I've been very, you know, careful with each transistor just like I was with each capacitor and each variable resistor. But I'm kind of like, you know, <laughs> nervous. I just stop it. Okay. No immediate bing bangs. <laughs> this pin. Um, there's no boom boom pin. Now to check if it actually works. <laughs> Let's take the lamp limiter out. I've done something a bit nuts, and then oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Switch the lights off instead. Um. Is instead of changing, um, you know, a single transistor or a row of transistors, I've I changed the entire freaking all of them. <laughs> so I'm not sure if that was the most wisest thing to do, but I did it. Please work. Yeah, it works. <laughs> so that's good. I don't have to worry so much like I, like I was doing. So let's put a reel in and do a recording test. Just like a mini one. Just to see if it actually records on both sides. Okay, so it's recording fine. Yikes. <laughs> I need to sort out the monitoring. Because it's gone off, you know. It's... 
this is work. Actually, hold on, just a second. Let's record the other side. Okay. The next step and the final step now is to just calibrate all the record, all the play and stuff. Okay, these are the transistors which I took out and replaced. They look kind of creepy for some reason. <laughs> Looks like little spiders. And as you can see now, it is completely pitch black dark outside. <laughs> so, I've been at this for a good few hours. Okay. Fantastic. Right. For now, I'm going to take a break and come back. So, see you shortly. Right, I'm back again now. And, uh... Everything is set up, camera, lights, everything, except there's no room for me to set. <laughs> okay, hold on, let me just kind of... I was quite ahead with my videos. Yeah, with, these, uh, with regards to this series, this uh, real to real repair series, I was ahead. Now I'm behind, <laughs> or just, you know, caught up. Because what had happened is, I, I have been putting it off for a week. <laughs> you know, just changing the transistors. Because, um, you know, I got this thing working after a huge thing and I was so scared to do anything more. I was kind of, I was basically, you know, shoving the transistors under the carpet. <laughs> but I ended up doing that too. So what I had done, you know, about a week ago was I decided to calibrate this thing before, you know, deciding to change the capacitors. Now, this is a reel with uh, test tones on it and uh, it's not a calibration reel. You know, I, I wish it was. <laughs> they're, they're very expensive these days, I've checked. Um, but this is the best I could do. It's just a reel with, you know, frequencies uh, recorded on it. So I've already adjusted the tape azimuth, as I did last time, you know, a week ago. Okay, for the playback calibration, what I'm looking at here are these two pots, VR1 and VR1, VR1A, VR1B. And for the VU meter potentiometers, uh, it's these two, this one, VR2A and VR2B. Let's manage the tape. Okay, so that. Now the tape. The record azimuth is here. Oh, that sent it wonky, didn't it? Okay, that's why it starts going down. Okay, here. Okay, here is where... The bottom one is ground, the top two are left and right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I have this external speakers on the headphones so I can hear the tone. So you can see now it's, it's around 1.8. So let's kind of adjust that. Let's put the volume down because that's not a pleasant sound to hear constantly. Okay. Okay, around, it's around 1.2. So that's the left channel set to 1.2. Now set the right channel to 1.2. Yeah, it's 1.6. Yeah, 1.2. Okay, so what I'm doing now is calibrating the VU meters. Okay, so I'm putting the um, the VU meters, setting them to zero. So that's the right. And this is the left. They're both pretty much at zero. So I have adjusted the output each channel left and right. Now while these channels are outputting at 1.2 volts I have adjusted both the variable resistors for the VUs so and set them to zero. Right so that is now the playback calibrated. What I have to do now is do the record calibration. Now the azimuth on these I set it already. I've uh, adjusted the azimuth and I, I adjusted the playback one and I've also adjusted the record one. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a record calibration. I'm going to just uh, set the record the level and everything. Firstly, I'm going to need my phone, which has a signal generator app on it. And I will play a tone. Which I cannot hear. Why? Oh, maybe because it's slow. <laughs> that was so deceiving. That's it. <laughs> I did 10 hertz. <laughs> Which is like, you know, of course, below the human hearing range. Anyway, so that's the uh, signal generator there. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to calibrate the recording level. And calibrate the, cal cal calibrate the recording and, and adjust the variable resistors here on the record board. This is connected to the source, the line in under this. What I need to do now first is set the, um, the source, which are these variable resistors here. Um, I forget the name of the variable resistors, I just remember by looking at, uh, at the position on the board which ones they are. Um, and somehow I can just remember them. These line line in. Each of these, I'm going to set these as, you know, like, uh, not half. So I'll put these two. Things. Wow! Okay! <laughs> I'll put these two in the same place. I scared myself then. So I will adjust the line in on the left and the right. Now what I need to do now, now what I need, now what I need to do, <laughs> what I need to do is set the record, adjust the recording. So I have to monitor on the tape itself, from the tape itself, and adjust the, the recording level onto zero. So that's how loudly it will record on the, that's how loudly it will record on the tape itself. So can you see it's out? <laughs> because the variable resistors are, uh, you know, out. So what I will do, yes. Okay, zero this one. Okay, so those are zeros, so you can see, that's the source, and that's from the tape, the level is exactly the same, so, good, now the same, on reverse recording, so, what am I doing here, <laughs> I was thinking it was these two, okay, so, let's do that. Ooh, that went all up and down, didn't it? As you can see, no difference from the source or that. On the that recording and now on the forward recording, let's check again. Fantastic. Everything is perfect now. Now, the reason why I did it at three quarters here, the, the level, the... Um, recording level at three quarters is that I have the option let's say I'm recording something and the the source volume is too low I have the option of increasing you know, it gives me some leeway so I think this is fine now it's done I can enjoy it <laughs> see this is how I learn I I don't learn with theory, with like reading up and equations and stuff. I learn by messing with things, by fiddling with, with, with fiddling with things. From this, from preparing this from the beginning to the end, I've learned so darn much, <laughs> and I know my way around this thing now, and I'm pretty confident with it now. So it's kind of, I mean, I didn't, I may not have the official calibration reel and things like that, but I did the best with what I had. So, yeah. Everything's fine now. I can just close this thing up, put it in the right place, perfect place, and just archive my records. Record. <laughs> I've been waiting for that. As you can see, this little dude is still here. Uh, so I will, you know, be as gentle as I can with the, the end, the outro talk. Um, basically, with, with these videos, 
I'm going to treat them, these this series of Akai Real to Real Repair, I'm going to be treating it in the same way as the Marantz Repair. You know, if any of you, you know, if it helps any of you, then, you know, feel free. The, all the links under the videos are in the description. In fact, what I'll do is I'll link the entire playlist so you can see the Marantz series as well as, <coughs> you know, the the whole Akai series, Akai Repair series. You know, it's all in the same playlist. This, I don't think this is going to be the end of it. I've, I'm going to do some, you know, recording tests and I will share those with you as well. But for now, I wish to just say thank you so much for all your likes and your shares and for sharing your thoughts and leaving comments and do subscribe for more. But for now, little dude and I will say adios.